Franklin's Halloween by Paulette Bourgeois and Bourgeois and Brenda Clark. Other than like Arthur, I always liked Franklin, but recently like I saw that they changed up the like cartoon version, like the cartoon show of Franklin. I'm like, no. <laughs> but in this one, you get the classic Franklin style. And like with the Berenstein Bear version, again, I got this off of Overdrive on downloaded onto my Kobo. So again, Overdrive through a lot of libraries is offered as a service to download ebooks. So, like, there might not be a whole wide range of books, but there is a decent selection, at least through <laughs> the selection that I saw through my library on it, but it's there. <laughs> some libraries might have some more options, but. I uh, got Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He knew the days of the week, the months of the year, and the holidays in every season. Today was October 31st. It was Halloween. Franklin could hardly wait for tonight's costume party. Everyone would be there. And so, you don't, you got, so instead of like a regular type of picture book, you got a little, a smaller version of a picture and then the writing, or you would just have a picture. And it's just like Franklin deciding what he would go to the party as. And here, like in this one, people think the ghost is bare, but they find out like when they're going through the Mr. Mole's haunted house that Bear is actually sick and they're like, who is the ghost? But they eventually find out who it is and they eventually leave Bear some candy because of him being sick and all. But yeah, a nice little book about Franklin and there's not really much you could learn from like a Franklin book but it's not overly there but still think of your friends <laughs> and yeah so Franklin's Halloween by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark happy readings